In a heated exchange over abortion rights, Vice President Kamala Harris has strongly criticized former President Donald Trump's stance, arguing that he should not dictate what women do with their bodies. Speaking during a recent debate, Harris underscored her commitment to reinstating the landmark Roe v. Wade decision, which was overturned by the Supreme Court in 2022. Harris called attention to what she termed Trump abortion bans across more than 20 states, describing them as measures that criminalize healthcare providers, including doctors and nurses, for providing abortion services. She noted that in some states, these bans could result in life imprisonment for medical professionals. Harris also highlighted the lack of exceptions in these bans for cases of rape or incest, arguing that they deny survivors the right to decide about their own bodies. This is immoral, Harris declared, emphasizing that support for women's rights does not require abandoning one's faith or deeply held beliefs. She vowed to sign legislation restoring the overturned precedent if Congress approves it, promising to fight for the rights and autonomy of women across the nation. Meanwhile, Trump defended his role in the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, calling it a moment of great courage for the justices involved. When pressed by moderator Lindsey Davis to clarify his current position on abortion, Trump avoided direct answers, instead highlighting how different states have chosen to handle the issue since the federal ruling was overturned. Trump also repeated a debunked claim that some states allow the killing of babies after birth, which is illegal everywhere. He further credited the Supreme Court's decision to overturn Roe v. Wade, although he mistakenly cited the number of justices who voted in favor of the decision, stating six instead of the actual five. Each individual state is voting. It's the vote of the people, Trump said. Now it's not tied up in the federal government. I did a great service in doing it. It took courage to do it, and the Supreme Court had great courage in doing it, and I give tremendous credit to those six justices. As the debate over reproductive rights intensifies ahead of the next election, both sides appear set to make the issue a central theme of their campaigns. Harris is positioning herself as a staunch defender of women's rights, while Trump continues to emphasize state autonomy in deciding abortion laws.